So this is our concept duet again. This is a concept device. So this is an actual production device. Uh, there's no timeline for producing it at this point. So this is really a learning vehicle uh, for us to get the experience right. Um, and so what's great about this device is uh, having two screens really gives you the ability to have everything that you love about your notebook and doubling that capability, right? So. What's great about this is really that it's almost like having um, a dual monitor set up in, this, in the form factor of a notebook, right? So for instance, um, just a very simple example of how this is useful. Um, just a very, very, very simple one with a book, right? So you can see, you hold it in a book posture. You can see it's a very natural reading experience. Something you'd be very familiar with where you have, maybe you have some content on the left, you can read about it on the right. Very, very easy, natural experience. Um, but a little bit more interesting than that, one sec, is that's being able to see more on the same device. But a little more interesting than that is being able to see and do at the same time. Right? So that's great. what's great about having two screens is that. Let's say, for instance, that I'm planning a trip to Utah, right? and, uh, and I want to figure out all the places I want to go in Utah, so, sorry, excuse me, just one sec, let me just get it to stay in that. Is this a Windows 10X? Uh, it's not running Windows 10X. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, if we were to productize it, it would have to run Windows 10X, right? Uh, so this is really just a lot of, for demonstration purposes at this point. So let's say that I want to plan a trip to Utah. So on the left side, I'm reading about my trip to Utah, right? I can actually read about it here and I can take some notes on my trip over here, right? So I'm seeing doing at the same time. I can even go in, I can pull some content out of this page. I really love this map. So I'm gonna grab this map and do that again. I'm gonna grab this map over here, right? I'm gonna paste it over here. And then I can take this map. Now I've got, I can still continue to read here. I can take some more notes. I can decide, hey, I want to start out in Salt Lake City. Then I'm going to go over to Arches. And then I head down over to Bryce Canyon. And I can start to plan out my trip. So you can see I'm seeing and doing at the same time. Right? So doubling up the screen. All right. Uh, so uh, 13 inch? It's so these are uh, yeah, about 13, a little over 13 inches. Anything else you can set it's like up? Having two XPS 13s. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so another great thing about this is being able to, uh, let's say that you want to have a video conference at the same time and take notes, right? On. Let's see if we do it this way. Now, on a normal notebook, right? You would be full screen video here. And then you would have your keyboard here, so you wouldn't be able to use this surface. What you'd probably end up doing is taking out your notebook and sort of write down your notes. What I can do with this, because I have this extra surface down here, I can start to write on the surface and I can take my notes at the same time. So again, that example of seeing doing at the same time. Right? So now, let's see. Um, In addition, I think one of the wow moments for me on this device is really being able to being able to use all of this screen real estate all at once. So again, I'm back at this Utah travel guide. I can actually full screen this into what we call super bags, right? And now I can view all this, I can view double the amount of content uh, on this device that I could on a normal notebook. For instance, if you were looking at like a, an Excel spreadsheet, I could see double the amount of rows on my Excel spreadsheet. And then if I add in like an accessory keyboard, I basically have a dual monitor set up, right? Right here, portable, I can put it in my bag just like a notebook device. So, another awesome thing that you can do with this, now we have a keyboard accessory. So this can just store right under here. It's attached magnetically, right? So whenever I need my full you know, notebook experience, I can take that out, put it on the screen, and it will spawn. And now I've got a full notebook experience on this. And I really don't have a lot of compromise with this because now I've got a full tactile keyboard. I've got a touchpad, just like you have on your standard notebook, right? And I have full screen up top. Now if I slide this down, 
Now I can use all of this screen and I can use a keyboard too. So now I've got a little bit more screen here. It's like this auxiliary screen at the bottom. Um, so you can use it to see more of your data. You can imagine that as apps get developed and evolve, you'll be able to, they'll be able to leverage this extra surface down here. Uh, let's say that it's for extra emojis or it's a control panel for video editing or photo editing or any of those sort of scenarios that you can think of, right? And then whenever I'm done with that, put it down here, full screen, full dual screen real estate, hide it away when I'm done. What do you guys think? Impressive. It's the same uh, form factor like the Surface Neo. Uh, surface. Uh, yes, let's see, the Duo and the Neo. The, the Neo duo is a smaller one, right? The, I think the Duo is, is, uh, the, is a large one. Yeah. That's four. Well, yeah, so it's yeah. very similar. So big, big difference here is the size of it, right? So this is a large, large okay. screen device. What we see this one as, this one's a true notebook replacement. So if we were, like, again, it's a concept, right? So we're still refining. This um, year, specs will change. Should we wait? Uh, There's no definite timeline at this okay. point. Yep. Okay. So. Thank you very much.